Hey, Turtle Club, good morning, guys. It is just right before 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are back for Skyfall Sunday on a pre-retro, that means before 10, a, a pre-2010, I should say, retro game, uh, meaning a game that's at least been seven years old. Um, and we are back to play Mega Man 6. We played this last weekend on Sunday because that's what we wound up having the, the map for Skyfall Sunday lead at. It was a, a 9 there. Hey, cool foodie legends. Glad to see you back. So we got Tomahawk Man, Centaur Man, and Yamato Man. We, we definitely have to, to take these guys out still. Um, we're going to go to Centaur Man, see what the, the alternate path is for it. Uh, he's at the Ancient City. Um, we finally finally got the, the jump jet which was the, the missing piece that we had so we can get back into it here hey ryan welcome back thanks for coming back man hopefully you like what you see here too man our uh channel we do a number of things as we described to ryan who's one of our new subscribers today and one of those things that we do is what's well, called Skyfall Sunday. It's actually Supporter Sunday, but it's usually got a, an S or something on the, along those lines. I'll wait for this thing to blow up. And whatever the last digit on the donation bar is, is determining what we actually wind up playing. And so right now, that's a, 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 a 9. Okay, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. Boom, boom. And that means we're playing a game that is before 2010. Now, the thing with the, the guide, though, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner there's a a guide that's going around with digits on it, basically determining what we're going to... Ooh! Got the talk in, forgot how to jump, and uh, forgot how to jump short, actually. Jumping is not the problem. Jumping's easy. On this Xbox controller, it's an A button. And this is Mega Man Legends Collection. The Mega Man 4 obviously came from pre-1993. But we actually are playing this through Microsoft Xbox Game Pass service, which is a pretty good service. I mean, for the $10 a month they charge for it, it's really good. Hey, Sally! Good morning! Welcome! Welcome! Ah, I'm just getting destroyed by these bombs and these birds. I need to stop doing that. Alright, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we won't be as bad on this jump as we were last time. We know how to get to this guy. Just gotta hit him right. Boom. And hopefully we can actually get this game finished out. We beat Mega Man 2, and when we played Mega Man 2, that was not a 100% blind playthrough. Because we had played Mega Man 2 before. And when we were growing up, we absolutely played it with family members and on the original NES. So we kind of knew what to expect. This game has been, uh... Oh, that was that was a little too close for comfort. Oh, I got a shave and a haircut with Mega Man there. Wow. And this is a deceptively evil level because this whole entire level you're underwater, so you're like, okay, there's there's some spots like right here where it's this really cool kind of jump you got going on. And these little things here that jump after you. Hey, Chadley! If you guys don't know who Chadley is, he is one of our actual family friendly streamers that we support. Uh, his subscribers are the Dax Squad, while we are the Turtle Club. Uh, family friendly streamer for both cases. Uh, you guys are absolutely to check him out, though. He does some real cool stuff. And I think he's been doing Breath of the Wild here. Here lately, at least. Uh, oh, a free man. Okay, we always we always wait for it to throw it out so we can know if we need to change our, our abilities or our power over. Okay, and we're going to the nice little underwater. And you know, this one thing I do like about this game is it absolutely comes from back in the day when game music was really good and difficulty level was just disgustingly hard. I don't think I've ever actually gone underneath the water to fight these guys. And I think there's a reason why. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we're getting some of that classic console slowdown. How, how you managed to put this on an Xbox One S and still get console lag is still beyond me. But they did it. They absolutely did it. Excited for Legacy Collection to come to Switch later. Me too, Chadley. I, I, I'll be glad to see it come to Switch. Um, one thing I definitely like about the way Xbox did it, though, is it's on their Game Pass service. So all this is is just a monthly subscription service. Oh, we need that help bar. Badly. You used to play Mega Man Maker on your channel a lot, Chadley. Uh, that's one I've never played. Um, my Mega Man skills are just really bad. They're abysmal. Um, ooh, okay, speaking of abysmal. Mega Man 6, get the Rush Jet. I'm trying to remember how to use the Rush Jet. There we go. And we finally got over here. So, I don't remember what actually does anything against this guy, but we're going to go in and hope for the best. Uh, Ryan, it's it's definitely not a, a forgiving game. Um, it's... It goes back to the time when they used to have what's called Nintendo Hard. And what Nintendo Hard was, and we've talked about that a couple times on this channel, is way back in the day, old school Nintendo days, 8-bit system, right? The grandfather of them all. Uh, Nintendo realized, and many other developers realized, that they were losing money on... Oh, this guy. Okay, so that weapon doesn't do anything against him. That weapon really doesn't do anything against me either. Alright. But this one doesn't do too bad though. Alright, we, we got him, we got him. But, uh, so, basically they were losing money. Nintendo was losing money, Konami was losing money. Um, you know, Konami, the guys who made Contra, um... Everyone was just losing cash, hand over fist. They they were producing the ten, uh, you know, console games. You know, these little things, you know, guys like Kirby and you know other stuff. And they weren't getting the money that they figured that they were supposed to be getting. And they started looking at it and they realized that Blockbuster was killing their business and their, their profit margin. And it was like, what's doing this? And they they looked into it and it was the fact that people were renting games taking them home and beating them over a weekend. Like the original Mario Brothers. If you rent if you're renting Mario Brothers, you were taking it home and you were absolutely beating that game before you even had to rent it, return it for rental. Um and you know, this is back when games were you know, games were even today, by today's standards, some of these games can be beaten pretty quickly. Um like Mega Man 6, we we, we streamed it for three hours one day, we're streaming it today for another three hours. And, okay, this is not the path we need to take. Ugh, I'm about to die. Because this is the path we took the last time. And so, what, what happened, what, what occurred, is they realized that these games were too easy because kids, you know, that was the primary focus because this was not considered a, uh, an entertainment system. This was considered a toy. The NES and all the other consoles were not considered electronics, they were considered toys when they were really released. And those toys, they basically decided that they needed to do something to stop it. And so, they, the rentals, they just decided that the, what they needed to do was make the games harder to where little kids, and their parents even, couldn't beat a game in a good set weekend. A uh, matter of fact, most of the games, they tried to make it to where it would take at least three weekends. Because at the time, the average rental price was about $8 a game for, for a weekend. So, you're looking at 24 bucks. If you're going to pay 24 bucks to beat the game, one of two things are going to happen. One, you're going to realize it's going to be cheaper for you, especially after you fail on day three, so, or rental period three, to beat the game. So what you wind up doing is you wind up buying the game. And Nintendo and, you know, Konami and all those companies, they make their money. So that's where Nintendo Hearts come from. And they basically, you know, it's like, okay, well, we got to do this. We, we, we can't let people be beating our games. We can't let them be renting our games. Because it's just eating into a profit market. 
And so this game came from that era, and it is ridiculously hard. Um, you know, it requires button pushing, it requires timing, it requires a lot of things that if you know what you're doing, you can absolutely be beating the game quickly. But if you don't, like me, I mean, this is a game that should not be taking me as long as it has. Should be taking anybody in this day and age. Oh, there we go. There's the other second. There's the secondary path that we couldn't get to. All right. Yeah, it's really jump jet specific. Oh. I mean, this game, I could probably see speedrun in like an hour and a half, two hours tops. Maybe even shorter than that. I've seen some of the, the great players of this game just do disgusting things. Oh, it hit through its head at me. Wow, that's horrible. And it did it again, because why, why not? Let's just watch it and see what it's going to do. I wonder if I could just kill this guy with the jump jet thing, man. I mean, the flying maneuverability is pretty good. I don't remember what Yamada Man does other than throws a spear and jumps around a lot. Oh, he, he jumps around that way too. So, there's that. Okay. Yeah, we're getting darted to death. We figured we might die to this guy. Alright, so what do we think we'll kill Tom Hawk Man? Let's gonna we're gonna play our other favorite game that we always play. And that is let's see what weapons are totally used to see against this guy. Can we chop him with the tomahawk? Yeah, I don't know. We might be able to. Ah, the tomahawks do pretty decent against him, actually. Actually, we're doing more damage against him than he's doing against us. Wow. Okay, so Tomahawk Man kills Yamada Man. Good to know. Good to know. And actually, I bet this game could probably be beaten in an hour. I mean, I'm I'm doing pretty pretty decent. I just knocked out two bosses in like 12 minutes on their alternate paths. So double that. I can see that. I can see that, maybe. Alright, Tomahawk Man. And of course, this is also the, that time period... Okay, we're 99% we're certain we did this on last screen. Yeah, that's not a path. It just makes it want to look like a path really badly. Like, I, I still don't know what kind of horrible designer decided to develop for the level like that. This thing, this thing here is, is just great against this. Because the med tools, you can go bam. Just crack your shell right open. And this is fun, because you go boop! Boop! I mean, booping them like that's just hilarious. Now you get shot in the head like that's not though. Sad. Okay, here comes our little rush dude. Come on! Hit points! Awesome. Alright, so jump jet time. I think what happened to this level last time we were playing on it is we got to the boss. He was Tomahawk Man, and we just couldn't figure out how to chop up Tomahawk Man. I 
don't see... I guess Windstorm. So we have an E-Tank, so we can absolutely try to... What's Tomahawk Man? Oh, this is the where the alternate path comes. Neat. Is this the... Oh, oh this thing. Ugh. All we can do is run from that. We still haven't figured out the best way to kill those. Which is probably not good. Probably not good. We're, we're about to be done with the, the prelude part of this game. Yeah, we can tell it's getting already a little bit toward bedtime, guys. So my timing's getting real bad. I had good timing and then timing went away. Hey, Simon! Yes, sir! Uh, we are doing a retro game today based upon our donation. And that is why we're doing Mega Man, because the donation amount ended in a 9, still does. Oh! Ugh, gross. We know we don't need the alternate path, because none of that stuff will respawn. Don't need those last pellets. But yes, we are back to doing some Mega Man goodies today. We have this is Mega Man Six continued over from last Sunday. We always we always try to finish a game if we can. If we think it's just going to take a session. If it becomes an adopted game, it actually gets on the, the, the carousel, like Psychonauts. Alright, let's go back to our storm. So we don't have long to make this jump, because the thing shot us out of the sky last time. Oh, we can do it with an extra man. Yeah. It's good. Uh, when will your next art fight be? Ryan, we do art every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, right now, um, it's your 12 plus 7 hours from now. Okay, so we gotta do this. We do that. We do that. Alright. So, yeah, right now, we're looking at 19 hours from now will be the next arc stream. Now, in a less than 11 hours right now, actually, 10 hours and 45 minutes will be Dig Rat Play Skyrim. Um, she'll be playing that. That is a mature audience stream, so if you are not comfortable with adult language, uh, that's definitely one you might want to skip out on. Otherwise, join in and have some fun with us. Okay, so... Okay, that's a useless one. Thanks for that, Sally. That's just us also. We're about to get smacked. Alright, so that's not it. That's not it either, for certain. Um, let's use the knight. Okay. Nope, doesn't do anything either. Alright. Where are we at right now? Um, well, we could use the plant weapon, maybe. Okay, so that didn't do it. Arc isn't on the schedule. No, it was a... A special stream, we have to redo the schedule, and right now, if you look, the schedule command gets cut off. So we're trying to figure out what we need to do about that. Alright, so... Just normal investor, I guess? Ah. 
about to rip, guys. Boom. It is on the schedule, though, in the Discord, so... Uh, we have plenty of room on the Discord, yeah. Does it, yeah, it's the same length as a chat command, plus, like, uh, maybe a hundred characters. Any kind of chat text. Alright, we gotta stay away from him. We gotta get away! Alright, we're trapped. Oh! We were trapped. Okay. We're still trapped. We're about to die again. We're about to game over. Ugh. We were close. Yeah, we were sort of close. Okay, well, on the on the plus side, we can go back and continue. We know we can beat this level. Uh, we beat the boss before. We just don't know what is... I mean, it doesn't have like a... A weapon that really does well against them. Which just defies most Mega Man logic. Which is, is frustrating. We know it's not the Mega Suit because the Mega Suit can't do the, the slide. When you, when you go down and jump, it just jumps. Which is fine. Which is fine. Boosh. I like hitting those. It's just something satisfying about hitting those guys like that. You're just knocking them way off. Hey Tom, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some Mega Man 6 on today's retro stream. This is what's called Skyfall Sunday, and on Skyfall Sunday we play whatever uh, basically is chosen based upon the map, which is the scrolling text at the top. Uh, you can see if the last digit were to end on, it, say, a 2, we'd be playing Stardew Valley today. Or if it were to end on, say, a 3, we would be continuing the arc stream today. And we also can wind up basically continuing any of the other stream series that we have. And that way people can actually vote uh, with currency if they'd like to see what they want to see play. And so that's the reason why we're playing this game. This game actually we wound up playing last Sunday as well. Anytime we have a, a stream like this, we usually don't continue the game series if it's a, a retro stream. If it's a, a long retro game. This one's short enough that we thought that we could probably get away with trying one more time. We're only about 20 minutes in. This is the, the last boss that we can fight uh, before we go to the main kind of big bad villain section of the game. So we're making pretty good progress right now with it only being like 23 minutes into the stream today. Oh, uh, where are you at, Brian? I'm down in southeastern United States, uh, which is Georgia. And it's like 62 degrees out right now. I mean, it's not even 9 o'clock, and it's already 62. So, that's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. I know some of our viewers are Celsius. So I want to make sure that's aware. Oh, 
Oh, Shadow, I love you, man. I need... Oh! Oh, that was bad. I almost got hit by really bad spikes. Okay, so... Plus 5 degrees Celsius and raining where you're at. That's fairly cold. Um, not cold enough to be snow, apparently, though. Okay, so, last time we went after this guy... Nothing really worked. Huh. Which still just does not sit right with me, guys. I'm gonna quickly Google this. Because that's just silly. Uh, let's see here. Wayne weapon. Da da da. It says weakness is plant man. Okay, so we we did hit him with the plant bomb. We just didn't do it right. Hmm. Well, we we kind of thought we hit a sizable chunk. There's 14 inches of snow where you're at. Oh wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of snow. Uh, S C13 lightning man. That's that's, that's, uh, considerable snow. Okay, so he does take damage. Considerable damage from the bomb, okay. So, wow, okay, we just were, we were hitting the button too much, I think, is what it was. We were, we were hitting too fast for it to register as combat. Wow. Huh. That, yeah, 14 inches with five more. It's like, it's almost, it's getting close to the two foot range. That's going to be a lot of snow, man. You can do some really cool Calvin and Hobbes recreations with that. Boom. So we got the last piece of the beat puzzle. Boom. Last thing I'm gonna do, just to be sure here. Um, interesting. Yeah, good game, absolutely. All right. All right. So continuing here. Oh, wrong way. Oh, time to go to the Death Mountain. And we should die real quick. Awesome. Probably be able to stay on the spikes the whole time. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, I think we may have had an extra man even. That's unfortunate. Do we have an E tank? No, we don't. Okay, so we use the E tank at least. So there's that. Boom! That should get us to a game on the screen, right? Yep. Sweet. This time we'll go to stage select. All right, so we got all the beat parts, we got all the Mega Man faces. We're going to Mr. X. So here is the ultimate dungeon of the ultimate dungeons for this game. One of the things that every Mega Man game has done, guys, is there's eight robot masters to fight. And when you beat all those, you have a progression to get to the, the final boss. So what does beat do? Um, beat. Oh, okay. Nifty. So, we want to conserve that. He's kind of an auto-attack. Which is really good, in my opinion. Oh, 
thanks, Ryan. So we're gonna go get some stuff here. We, we try to keep everything cool, man. That you know, that's that's the way we try to run the channel. We 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 believe if we treat everybody with you know, if we have a good time, if we're having fun, and we treat everybody with respect, everything else takes care of itself. Okay, so that thing doesn't die to that. So we'll just get all the jump jets in. Boom. Um. We'll skip that health pack because, no, that looked like it was pretty much the way we die. Point made indeed. Yeah. What's real funny is every time we actually ban this in particular individual, me and about three other people on the channel are reporting him for hate speech, which eventually will get his IP address blocked on YouTube. And if it actually gets. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's, that's gross. Um. That's gross. Okay, so that broke it, which is important. Now we can get to there with jump jets, probably. Yep. And here's a bonus room. Is it blues? Oh, it's not quite blues, but it looks like it's very bluesy. Why can we fill up? We we had nothing really used in the windstorm. And let's get the parachute out because that looks like we broken my parachute. Well, this is like a whole bonus room full of stuff, and we just coming right into it. Right. It's 11.13 where you're at. Way cool. Oh, wow. That's, that's a gross amount of one-ups. And, uh, first boss. Yikes. I don't know if we, uh, we trust... We're gonna save our game. That's that's the one little retro cheat that we use on the on the Xbox One version of this game. Is we'll use the save, because, uh... We have no clue what we're about to get into. Oh. Okay. Um... Yeah, those are all one-ups. Four of them, Sally. I was... I was, yeah, that's exactly where I'm at with the two as well. Okay. Beat, come on, do, do some do some stuff here. Uh, maybe Crystal Flash will do something? Nope, okay. Okay, okay. This is not good. They're actually just wrecking us right now. Uh, maybe the, the Blizzard Blast is what we need to use against these guys? Oh wow, not even that. Okay. This part's reminds you of Donkey Kong Jr. Yeah, a little bit. Um. Yeah, I'm not able to hit these things worth anything right now. Oh, I can actually jump over that part. That's good. That's good to know. Okay, so that's that's a problem, huh?
Maybe we can use this, because this is our hardest hidden weapon we have. Okay, so it does hit. Having them both after us, though, is, is difficult. And they're just doing hit and run tactics. Ugh, oh, even worse. Okay, so it, it bounces them back when I hit one of them. And that's... That's there, that's there. Alright. It does look a little tough, Sally. I, I won't lie. This is... Hmm. Maybe the plant bomb will automatically hit them when it gets close? Nope. That was... Okay, it actually... It does hit them. But it doesn't hit them enough. Okay. We use B. And yeah, B will hopefully... Beat even attack? Beat won't even attack them. I don't think Crystal Flash will do anything to them. Nope. They're, they're too high level for Crystal Flash to work on them. Alright, so maybe the Wind tur Turbine? Oh, okay. Gross. Okay, so we're getting we're getting there. Um, so we know the power up will hurt them. We know it'll actually knock them back. It's just a question of dodging all the shots. And we do know that we get some extra men when we come into the stage. This is clearly the reason why. There's a lot of guesswork on this boss. Need to let go a little bit earlier on the, the release is what it is. There we go. Come on over. Ah. Okay, I didn't get the release I needed. Ah. All right, we're we're dual exchanging, which is better than not. All right, I'm a head by hit. That's good. All right. Ah. Okay, we destroyed one. He's got this last one to do. All right. So it was it was Mega Buster. Um, like the wow. <laughs> Ryan, it's it's frustrating in a good way, though, right? Because right now, what you're seeing leading up to that, yeah, that was frustrating. But beating it, beating it, guys, that is what makes it worth it. Is when you get something that's just so hard and difficult. And thanks for the GG there, Sally. But, um, but when you get to that difficulty level, right, and you get through that wall, whatever you've been pounding your head against, um, that's what makes it worth it. That's what makes it worth it. Okay, this looks like... Oh! Interesting. It's because my weapons don't carry over from level to level. Oh! And I don't know what's worth it. I don't know what's worth it. So we're gonna just go in... Okay, we... We're gonna hope... That maybe the plant life thing is going to be good. We know that those will probably respawn, and we know that the power suit will definitely knock them back for us. I'm not gonna accomplish it when you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You got it, Ryan. You know. Oh. <laughs> it's equally an accomplishment when you wind up dying on spikes like a silly idiot. All right. So. Boom. 
that's one of the things that's missing out of video games a bit these days, is that since a really good accomplishment. That's one of the reasons why I like Ark so much. Is because Ark is is really really gross with the difficulty if you're playing on base. But it gets better as it goes along. Okay, this thing we're gonna have to kick a little bit. Ugh. Missed it by that much. Unfortunately, that's enough to get me killed. Alright, so... That time we got it because we just used the invincibility cheat. Oh, this is not good. I already know exactly what's gonna be happening here. That looks like a bridge, it just wants to fall apart on me. So we'll just do that. Whoa, that was a little bit too dippy. Whoa. I uh probably took the bottom of my shoe leather off on that one. Wow. Okay, we, we know that they have false bottoms here. Yep, right there. Now why else would there be those things there? Alright, power suit. I got a bad feeling that Windstorm's gonna be like required on this level. Like super required. And then again, the last one used the Mega Suit, so it might be that this is just jump jets. We might have to actually do like an aerial fight, which would be kinda cool. Up, oh, and here's the next Mr. X level door. Uh, we're gonna go in with jump chats expecting to have to maybe like jump and fly and stuff in this level. I don't know. I do admit that I kind of wish this would have done like the Mega Man 2 thing where you kind of didn't even realize you had a boss coming up. Oh, and what do we what do we say, guys? Uh, jump jets. Cause this thing is flying. And this is really bad, because I bet you we don't have to hit him much. Uh, that's... maybe the plant bomb will save us from the falling rocks? It's, it's a thought. Oh, plant bomb will save us from everything, apparently. Uh, okay. Alright, so... Get to the jump jets, because we have to be able to hit this guy, right? We can't hit him in his water. Okay, maybe it's not hitting that. Maybe we have to... Maybe we have to parachute the blocks and just knock him or something. No, okay. Maybe we actually use beat for this. Oh, Beat's protecting us from the stones. Okay. So that that gives us a... Alright. Go Beat. We just need Beat to be better than, at beating this guy. And 
we're not going to be able to beat this guy at this point. Oh well. Oh well. Da -da -da. All we can do is continue and hope it... Oh, yes, at least to put us back where we are at. You know, in other Mega Man games, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you don't wind up getting to go where you want to go. hit and get over it. Go back to the jump jet. Boom. That's the one thing too, guys, about these levels. They, they look ridiculously hard because they're designed to be ridiculously hard, but once you can clear one, like once you clear it, generally speaking, yeah, see, that's what I thought was going to happen. Generally speaking, you just get all the way through without a problem. Alright, and we know from prior experience, what we're looking at here is just jumping the yellow panels. And, you know, being smart when it comes to fighting the actual little mini sub bosses. Boom. We sure would be nice to get like a power up hill pack or something from one of these guys. If you're listening to Capcom, <laughs> I don't even have to actually do that with this one, I don't think. If I just fly across. I gotta wonder. These are way too tall. I almost feel like there's like another piece here. Because there, there's this little thing down here. And we never got the other parts of that. Of course, that could be something for this specific game, maybe. Like the, the collection of all six of them. That'd be interesting. Alright, so we're going to do battle with this guy. We know it's the jump jet that we need. Um, sort of. We know the beat will give us some protection. We're, we're basically walking in just to die right now. Maybe see if we can um, do damage with Crystal Flash. Uh, that'd be cool if Crystal Flash actually did something against this boss. Like, it might destroy the meteors when they come down. Yeah, they do. That's all they do, though. So maybe Silver Tomahawk will do some damage to him. Yep. So that's that's unfortunate. Um, Monosphere, maybe. Ah, put my head. Oh well. So how many more lives do we have? We have two more. Um, Blizzard Blast, we can try shooting that at him because it does an angle. Hitting him is the big problem right now, guys. Okay, so that did a considerable decent amount of damage. And it goes through his projectiles. So that, that's not bad. Uh, you kind of do, Ryan. I mean, it, it makes it easier if you know what the, the weakness is. It's supposed to, at least. 
the big problem right now is this particular game is being emulated basically um, the way they've done it on Xbox, which is unfortunate. But so there's some slowdown. So what I should be having for response time is, is right, but the slowdown is definitely causing my, my timing for jumps and other important things to be way off. So if I stand here, he, he, okay, he eventually will get me, okay. Standing here he gets real close, and then further away he comes out. Alright, that's not good. Huh. There's no 8 direction attack, and that's... Bad boss design like this, I guess, is the reason for that. So Silver Tomahawk, probably my best bet because the attack pattern it does. Hmm. I have a better shot at like getting to him. Yeah, that's definitely the weapon of choice. Has the right arc. So that's that's the weapon we needed. Silver Tomahawk finally came through, guys. Go us on that one. So now out of the, the four spots for this boss, and there's usually like a bonus fifth spot, so spoiler alert on that, guys. Alright. Hey, a free man. That's, that's not bad. Alright, so now we have to use the power suit. So the question is, there's two paths going up, which one is... Well, this one looks to be so far so good. We don't have to fight him. Oh. Well. Oh well. We thought we had a good path, but lo and behold, we had to fight him after all, so... Jump jet time! Alright. tank, which will help a little bit. Okay, these guys we gotta flip. We know how to flip them. Okay, interesting. Guess I just jump jet through this then. Oh, that was great. Death by whatever that was. <laughs> Alright, Turtle Club, here we go. Combine with the jump jet of the Rush Dog. That's one of the cool things that's happened throughout the Mega Man universe also, is Rush has always been this, like, combining Megazord kind of like character. Voltron, if you will, depending upon, you know, what generation you grew up. I don't think there's a current big giant robots all come together TV series. I think they remade Voltron just to kind of cover their bases, though. Alright, these things come out spitting fire. This makes me have to switch. Boom. Alright, jump jet.
Oh, so that explains how this is supposed to work. And now we get the jump jets, which makes it that much more dangerous with the spikes. Right, so we're getting closer to the boss. All of that spike nastiness. It definitely wanted to make us a, a Mac kebab. I thought I could blow them up with a big, huge, powerful punch like that. And the difference between these two paths will become soon, apparently. And I'm willing to bet that I once again took the sucker's path. Nope, I actually get a way out this time. Go me. I feel pretty good about that. Alright, back to the jump jet. Alright guys, time to see what horrible horribleness this thing has. We have two E-Jet uh, packs, so we do have a, a chance to get through this and figure out what's going on. Um, if we die, we'll lose them, so it's kind of... Oh! Intriguing. Meat tools mean basically I, I do power suit, right? Or not? Okay. Wow. Okay. Um... So they, that's, that's the weak spot, clearly. Um... Oh, that's, that's really weird. That's that's really weird. Okay. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is windstorm this guy. Oh, you can't windstorm him. How delightfully horrible. Okay. So we absolutely have to pal suit this. really bad. Go up for the E-Pack, because the E-Pack's good. Wait, goodbye to the Spear Dude, because he can say goodbye to him. We know we can kill those dudes with the... Whoops. And we have to use the jump jet, which, that's just weird. It's just weird, because the, the level design at times seems like it acts like we don't have these items. 
and other times it, it totally goes like, oh yeah, you have a jump jet. You have to get a jump jet to get through here. Which almost makes me believe that the level designs were handled by more than one person. And not by, like, a group. We have elements of the Fireman's level. We have elements of the Umana Man. So it's potentially that these were just leftover uses. Which wouldn't surprise me. Capcom is really good at the character design. But sometimes the level continuity is a little iffy. We got three E-Tanks, we got all the men we need. Alright, if we cannot die at this point. Oh my gosh. Is that too much to ask, apparently? Strike out like old good old Casey. See here, we, we gotta use an E-Tank. Down to like one life pellet, that was pretty much the way the game decided to spell it for us. Either use an E-Tank here, Mag, or you die. Ah. I do not know how to pronounce that name, but hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Mag, Synchro with Convertible Turtle Game. playing Mega Man 6 on the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on Xbox One S on their Microsoft Game Pass service, which is actually a broken service. Alright, so... This could be just one of those guys that we just simply shoot with um, the Black Buster, and he's just dead. I mean, we have, like, three E-Packs. It, it makes no sense almost to not just do it that way. Thunder, okay. Well, Ryan, it's been raining here in Georgia where I'm at, so... I wouldn't be surprised if some other parts of the country have definitely got some precipitation. This one has really good soundtracks, guys. That's all what Mega Man games usually are. It's good soundtracks with some gameplay mixed in. Alright. So. I think we figured out that the... The spear was doing pretty good. Maybe the night weapon. We'll, we'll try Silver Tomahawk. Because Silver Tomahawk seems to be doing decent. Um, here we come. It's the Metal. doing as good as we were hoping it was. Uh, White Spear. Yeah, I was wondering when Straight Blast were gonna basically wreck us. Alright, so let's try the Night Weapon. fill up on the E-Tank. The Night Weapon's not doing too bad. It's 
not doing all that great, though. I'm just gonna go Mega Buster, I think. Like, Power Buster. Okay, that's not doing good at all. The range is just bad. Alright. Alright, there we go. We went through one E-Tank and about, like, two weapons to get to that point, but it is what it is. This could be the final level. Probably not. <laughs> Mega Man has a, a huge history of this not being the final level. But then again, Mega Man also has a, a, a huge history of, you know, weapons actually doing extra damage against certain bosses. So, we'll see. We'll see. Interesting. Oh! In spikes. Because we, you know, blind is bad, apparently. Alright. Thank you for being spikes, because... For a second there, I forgot your spikes. Yay! Spikes! Like, really bad jumping. Spikes. You didn't see those spikes and saying, neither did I, Sally, neither did I. The first time I didn't, the second time I just, you know, had no excuse. Well, that would have been really bad. That would have been bad. It's like three bad choices. Hey, do a do a slide here. We promised you it's safe. Meanwhile, it's like anything but safe. All right, what do we need to try to fill up? Maybe it's Silver Knight. That looks like an evil bee. That's great. Wow, and then, you know what? I could have used, like, the, the jump jets or all that, probably. That was probably the expectation, no less. Like, this is the expectation here, I'm sure. Haha, uh -huh. totally passed you. Don't get to shoot at me. Not with life shots at least. Whoa! Alright. This is gonna require us actually using like real weapons. Or our main weapon, at least the, the Mega Buster. Go down, Mega Man. Okay, so that clearly looks like one way to bypass the level. Oh, how many men do we have? And one. Kinda wish we died. Now we don't know what that other path is. I bet you it led out here. That, that's sad. The road not traveled. We won't know what it is. Oh well. These things happen. This is not good. This is not good. Alright. 
Oh, we almost got knocked off the edge. And we're about to die just for damage. Ugh. We got four E-Tanks, though, so we're doing good. E-Tanks will fix a multitude of sins, including the failure of having the ability to be able to play a game. Okay, um, this is about to hurt a lot. <laughs> Have you ever been to Australia? No, Ryan, I have not. Uh, it looks really cool. Oh! Into the pit we go. On the bright side, we can go to the alternate path that we were curious about. That looks really suspicious, like something might be in it. So let's just go ahead and crack that like a walnut. Now, never been to Australia, but we do have a moderator in some Australia. Uh, time to deliver a pizza ball. Real cool guy. And we have a lot of viewers that are from Australia, like Indigo D, um, Cubing Guy, also known as Lucas. Um, uh, I know there's lots more. I just, my, my brain isn't all the way on all cylinders right now. Did that not blow shrapnel when it blew? No, it didn't. Okay. Wow. So we got a free man coming through here. But I, I do like the idea of Australia. Going there and visiting me and Dick Rand both talked about it. Much, much easier with the jump jets. Again, it, it makes me wonder. Um, it's almost like Capcom decided they're going to build the level with two different. Oh, knocked off into the pit. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. That was. That was pretty funny. Oh, wow. Like, in a sad way, like, like a clown, you know? about the jump jets. We've already forgotten. Guys, this is what happens when we get past 9 o'clock. My brain just basically starts shutting down. It says, hey, you're supposed to be in bed. Why aren't you sleeping? Why aren't you sleeping? And then things like getting knocked into a pit by a bird happen. <laughs> Alright, well, on the bright side, we have infinite continues. That's one thing that Mega Man doesn't take away from us. And we have, oh, wow, we're starting with three E-Packs. That's, that's interesting. They might do that the first six or seven times. And for those of you guys who are just joining in, kind of lurking, work away, we're cool with that. My name is Mag Synchro, I'm from Turtle Turtle Gaming. It's a channel that my wife and I both share. My wife's name is Dig Rat, she plays Skyrim on Sundays. Does a real fun adult friendly stream. Uh, I do all ages friendly, what we call family friendly in the industry. If you 
you like what you see here, absolutely hit the like button. We uh, try to play what our actual subscribers like and enjoy. Uh, we, we feel like it makes everybody happy. And what I'm doing is what you guys would like to see me do. Alright. We're back to here. This is an easy one to get around. worth all that life? I don't know. I really don't. Alright, way cool, Ryan. Really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. And that's one of the things that helps everybody kind of know what we got going on. YouTube uh, has a computer that basically determines what to show people. And the way that determines it, a lot of times, is they simply look for activity on the video. So the more people we got talking and saying things, the more people that hit the like button, even the people that hit the dislike button. Um, controversy breeds uh, interest, according to YouTube. They, they may not think that as much as they used to, but they still have it in their algorithm. Just like videos get viewed by people, because people are curious. Why do people dislike that? I know when we get dislikes on our videos, we have people that ask, you know, how, why is there dislikes on the video? Hey, Indigo! I've been in Australia. Yeah, I... I, I are you not from Australia, Indigo? I thought you were from Australia, man. For some reason, I thought you were from Australia. If you're from New Zealand, I'm so sorry. Because I know that's a, that's a thing. Alright, sorry about that, man. Sorry about that, Indigo. Uh, I know... I, I try to keep it straight in my head. It doesn't always work. Australia. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to go, oh man, when you said you had been to Australia, I was like, ugh. Right, here is the boss. We got there, guys! We got to the boss! Yay! Have we fought this one yet? I don't remember if we... Is this the... Is this the Mito one? The, no, it's not. It's a different boss. Um, it's Mr. X. And he's on a giant swingy ball? I am confused, but we won't complain. Um, oh, that's great. Clearly, this can't be the level boss. Guys, this is... Oh. Brisbane and Darwin. Okay, those both sound like places that I've never been. <laughs> but, uh, sound really awesome. Alright, let's see here. Silver Tomahawk. We'd like the swoop shot. Oh, multi-stage boss, possibly. Maybe. Still have enough power to destroy you, okay. Oh, chasing after Dr. Wily! Not Mr. X! It's Dr. Wily! Oh my gosh. Who knew it? Who knew it? 
I possibly knew it might have been Dr. Wily all along. Because it's always Dr. Wily all along. Oh, wow, but that's different. Four more levels. That's, uh, okay. That's a neat reveal. about to get shot on by some fire. Midnight 25... Oh, that's... That's pretty warm, Indigo. That's actually warm where it's at in, in, in Georgia right now. And Georgia is pretty humid. Um, yep, Dr. Wily, man. He's, uh... He's the notorious villain for Mega Man. He's always been the villain. Ever since the first game. Uh, do you play on servers or not? I do have a server I play on right now, Ryan. Uh, there's a streamer that I, I play on his server right now for Ragnarok. Oh, that was dead. But uh, as, as a general rule, man, here lately, uh, with the time, you gotta remember, um, I have a full-time job, and it takes away 50 to 60 hours of my week, so... Streaming, I do. When I when I mention that it's my free time, it's it's most of my free time is is doing this, which I love doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love playing video games and talking about them and, and just having good conversations with people. Oh, that's a free man. That's that works. Good. But uh, but you know, we try to keep everything continuous when we do stream series like the art series. Yeah, I, I do, but when I play on a server, it's because I have so little time, usually they're heavily modded. I mean, the one that I play on, I think I'm, I've played for about an hour, and I'm like level 30-something. I mean, it's ridiculous, because all the boosted tribe experience and all that. There we go. And let's try to do this without killing ourselves. Hey, we got there. of some Mega Man 2 stuff. Oh, wait. There was a... Ah. Can we get all the way back up? I want to go up. I want to go up. I guess the only way to go up is to go down. Alright, let's try that again. It is about to begin over here. Ow! No friendly power up this time. He's, he's getting smashed. Okay.
Wow. That was just good. Okay. I guess we just, uh... We got enough men. I think we just die again. Because there's gotta be something good over there. It wouldn't make it so difficult to get to if it wasn't so good. Alright. Though I'm guessing it's gonna be something akin to wanting to drink my oval team when I get to it. It's probably like a free man or something. That'd be funny. Congratulations, you spent two men to get to see what's in the box. Inside the box is one man. But yeah, Ryan, uh, that, that's kind of the way it goes with Ark these days. So if I'm playing, it's going to be either on stream... <laughs> oh, I fell for their dastardly trap. I didn't even realize it was a dastardly trap until I was kind of loopy, so... Yeah, if, I, if I'm playing on an ARC server, uh, it's not going to be anything like official. It's not going to have half the experience modifiers that I've got online. And it's going to be something that I can get in, play, and have a good time with it. And not play for hours on end. Um, now we have talked about maybe doing a, a hosted server for the Turtle Club. Um, we do have, you know, sponsors on the channel, but right now, their sponsorship goes to other stuff. And most of the sponsors we have for the channel don't play ARC, so it's one of those things that, you know, they'd have to agree to, you know, join the content to do something along those lines. This is where this starts. Alright, we got there, guys. Let's see what our two men got us. Oh, this looks like a secret. Not bad. Yeah, Ryan, I, I don't go for that usually a lot, man. Um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Still cheated from the, the secret, but uh, oh well. I guess I'd feel equally cheated had I, you know, fallen down this. Oh wow, there's another. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. I didn't know what I was going, what I was doing. Oh. Holy amount of pellets. Um. Windstorm. That's gonna be our best bet. We just hope that wind actually does something finally. Oh, it's a squid. So maybe like right here, be able to do it. All right, so we got one man, three e packs jump jet, a will to live, and a desire to beat this first boss. And it's Dr. W now! Instead of Dr. X. Which just goes to show that we should have known it was Dr. Wily the whole time. Alright, this is... Scary looking? Oh, it's, it's a dinosaur. Okay. So, I'm guessing. Yep, sure enough. His head's his weakness. Game of Mag, ha 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 ha. Oh, Indigo, I was, I was flummoxed for a second because you said Tame High, and I was like, uh, did I miss saying hello to something? I, I do that when I'm tired sometimes. Oh, 
this is this is getting kind of sad. I don't have any Mijo berries. I can't tame this one. It's clearly a Brontosaurus, or uh, not a Brontosaurus, but a Dilophosaurus or Dilo, Diplodocus. Keeps trying to knock me back and hit me and not really do a lot of damage. Okay, now it's getting really smart. So I can start to shoot the fireballs where I'm going to be. Alright, well, we didn't get to tame him, guys, but we definitely put him in the torpor state. Okay. Alright, one out of four down, so we got three left. Did we forget to pay the electric bill, Dr. Wily? Is that what happened? Oh, they're ice floors. That's fun. Oh, thanks for the GG's, guys. Oh, that's just rough. Oh, at least he did some. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Ryan. That was. Hey, Hedar, welcome back to the channel, man. Yeah, that was rough. We were taming a pterodon, and it didn't get tamed all the way earlier today on Ark. And, uh, yeah, it, it stole all my, all my stuff. Stole all my goodies, stole all my. everything. <laughs> Alright, um. over to the Fire Blast. Did pretty good. Did pretty good. Yep. Terry the Dino took all of her stuff and ran away with it. She ran away with her heart first and then she ran away with all of her stuff. I've been doing good, Aunt Head. Doing good, man. Chilling, having a good time, playing video games. Definitely a real good shortcut. Wow. Oh, shortcut's over. <laughs> Just moving. Ah, moving's never fun. It's all the stress and the bad stuff involved with it, and have to pack and. I figured this guy was going to hit me, but what could I do? There we go, that's what I could have done. I could have just done that the whole time. Now I gotta go for this. Oh, that's good when you didn't like your- well, that's, that's true. That's true, I had a, a similar issue happen when I lived in Oklahoma City. I actually had my apartment robbed in the middle of the day by a man who was escaped on a, a murder charge. So, uh, so yeah, I definitely understand that if you don't like your old place, you gotta move and get out. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, I think we're alright. We got three, we got that. The bosses so far have been, yeah, they're not too bad. Alright, so what's this boss? What's this boss? Okay, so the boss is shooting bombs. So far, it's not that bad. If you stay close enough to it, it doesn't really hurt. Okay, now we gotta take an E. That's E as in echo, not knee as in get down. Alright. Oh wow, Dr. Wily's stuff is 
not built anywhere near as good as Dr. X's stuff. I mean, Dr. Wily just kind of do one of these and go after it. Ah, uh, looks like he's got his electricity back on, though, so that's a plus. Not good either. Okay. Okay. Wow. So the fans do double duty. Um. Oh! It hits hard. Okay. Game over. Living with family can be complicated. Yes, Ant Head, it can be. Um, and uh, moving away doesn't uncomplicate it. I speak from experience. Your mom will always be your mom, your dad will always be your dad. And the things that drive you crazy about both will always, always drive you crazy. But, you know, they say the absence makes the heart grow fonder, and they, they, they're mostly right. Okay, so that's a really, really bad mechanic for me. Um, Happy to get out of the water. Just get us out of the water. <laughs> oh, those fans just so. Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say the fans are probably the evilest thing here, but no. Nice little crossfire going on with these things. It's unfortunate if you can't live live alone. Oh, here we go. Now this is what we're expecting, guys. This is um Okay, this is play which things you know how to kill. Um let's see who this is. Oh, uh, this is there, dude. Man, you've got mostly useless weapon. Ah, uh, let's, so let's just see exactly how useless everybody else is against you. Oh, hello. Well, we definitely know who Crystal Man's good against now. Wow. How the machines destroyed after we beat it. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, Tomahawk Man, who we never figured out who he was against. Good against that guy. Oh, wow. It wasn't the spear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wasn't it the plants? was Plant Man. Okay. We gotta go and get the, the life back because he hurts otherwise. Plant Bomb. Much, much better. Much, much better. Alright. Let's go back to regular Buster. Okay, so Alright, so Windman, good guess on the Fireman thing there, guys. 
Ice Dude. I'm gonna guess the Fire Guy is good against him. Pokemon, don't fail me now. Fire's good against Ice, right? Yeah, once you can figure out the weaknesses for most of these bosses, they, they are easy, uh, Ryan. That's that's the point of the game, is it's supposed to be like a rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, atomic bomb, Superman, Jeep, and, and dune buggy thing. Um, if you've ever played that except of the game, I'm sorry, because it's definitely not fun. Alright, so... Once good against the centaur, I don't remember. Yeah, thank you for that, Anhead. That was... I was very happy with my shooting on that one, too. Alright, that's that's right. It's the mace that's good against the centaur. Centaur crash move is really dangerous for us. I think we can kill him before he kills us, though. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, because we want to save these E-Tanks for some of the harder bosses if we can, but... Alright. So see, we got... As you notice, we have three bosses left. We have three weapons left. So the Silver Tomahawk, the Yamada Spear, and the, the Blizzard Attack. The Blizzard Attack should be good against the Plant Dude. So... Here we go. Here's the night guy. And the night guy falls really easy to the spear. Because the spear just goes right through his shield. And that's why we want to... Is there an order on Mega Man 1? Um, yeah, there is an order on Mega Man 1. I don't remember it. But I do remember, like, uh, Gutsman is beaten by, like, Blastman, I think. Um, uh, Electman. Um, man. Because Iceman beats Fireman, or Fireman beats Iceman, I forget which. Dayman will beat the Nightman. That, that's neat. Want to post videos so you'll have to learn how to edit, and I guess once you learn how to edit, it'll be easier. Yeah, um, that's absolutely the way the world works. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, YouTube is no different. I, the software I use, if you do exclamation stream as an S-T-R-E-A-M, I'll tell you the software that I'm using and the devices I use. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I do that. Uh, we also... Okay, this guy's going to be a little bit difficult. Okay. And it might be the tomahawk that we're supposed to use against him, I don't remember. We chopped down the plants, right? Nope. Not while he's got the shield to go on, though. And not while he's got that going either. So it looks like the blizzard attack goes through the shield? Am I getting that right? Nope. Not getting that right. But it does definitely hurt him a lot. That's good. Alright, so we, we figured out everybody's weakness. Um, it took us the whole entire series to do that. Which means this Tomahawk has got to be good against this last dude. I mean, there's just no other way around it, right? Tomahawk's got to be good against Yamada Man. And he's going to do the little spinny thing. Alright. Yeah, because of Swoop. Yeah, Swoop. Boy, that was right there on the bubble. Oh, Turtle Club. We're in some sad state of affairs. We're gonna use B against this boss to start with. And hopefully he'll be... Oh, we're actually getting a level transition. Goody, goody gun drops. 
we're good with that. We're absolutely good at that. Exactly, Anthony Art. We got him, man. We we shot him and, and poked him and prodded him and tomahawked him, and he fell. And now we're gonna see what happens here as we fall, because uh, falling is definitely one of those things that's. Oh wait, what? Did that like fill up one of our items? It might have. That's weird. And these guys we know how to beat because it's just crushing power. Or not. You can't bypass it either. Wow. They're gonna make us jet this thing. be a better way to do this than this, but what well, works, works, guys, you know? If you figure out something, absolutely figure it out. But if you figure out a strategy that works, especially in these older games, by all means, go for it. Um, yeah, they have the Met Tools, uh, M-E-T-O-O-L-E, or W-O-O-L. Uh, they're actually pretty good. Um, that was really, really short. This must be, like, the fight with Wily, I guess. Yep. Um... Okay. Alright. Beat, come to the rescue, man. Uh, that's, that's bad. Tank. Beat's not doing anything. Anything that will do extra damage against this guy, I'm really used at and wanting at this point. Why are these generally multiple stages? So. Good, not good. Uh, I don't know, man. I think we got one more stage after this. Yeah. Oh. Multiple random patterns of spinny balls like that. Okay, and we have no way to get our power ups back. Okay. We got this, guys. This is gonna be rough, though. Okay. Quarter hit points every time he hits us. Ugh. And this will be equally gross.
Oh, that was weird. Alright. One hit away. And this is not good. Getting kind of closer, guys. Getting kind of closer. All right. Okay. So we got about an hour and ten minutes to beat this guy. I think we can do this, guys. I think we might be able to do this in like ten minutes. We, we hope. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need to do the. Is that Einstein? No, Ryan. That's Doctor Wiley. Um, he's kind of like an evil Einstein. He's a he's a person that believes that because he makes all these really cool robots that he should be in control of the world. Dr. Light, who is the creator of Mega Man, is the one who believes that robots should not be used for war or control. I mean, this is a bad run. But the thing is, Dr. Wily, he, he's not really a good inventor of robots. He's a good repurposer. Like, in the first Mega Man, Dr. Wily stole all of Dr. Life's robots that were meant to be used for things like powering a power plant or... Ah. So not good. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's not bad. Like, uh, in, you know, being able to keep things refrigerated with Iceman, and being a construction robot with Gutsman. Oh, I just jumped right into the shot. That was bad. And that was just funny to me anyways. And I don't have any time uh, tanks. Uh. Ah, trying to bait the shot. Oh, well. All right, well, we do have continues, because this game is really liberal with all the continues, so that's a plus. And do we get all of our stuff refilled? We do, which doesn't really help for this boss, apparently. Got him though, because guys, oh, we don't have any e tanks. Ugh. Okay, well, give us an e tank. We need an e tank. Uh, thanks, Rush. I feel like that uh, part of that fifth element where they're in Blossom Paradise and the dude throws the billiard balls to him when he wants the grenade. about pattern recognition, guys. We can get the pattern recognition down. We're usually okay. He's a little bit more random in this part. Ah, oh, it's not good. Less of a pattern. Less of a pattern. Okay, so that was a good run. That was a good run. We're getting better. Oh, the look of disappointment. Yeah, the look of disappointment, man. That's, you know, we're doing good, we're doing good, and all of a sudden something just doesn't jive the way it's supposed to be jiving. And, like right now, we had his pattern down, we, we had his shot rotation down, 
We almost got through him on this particular form last time without even taking any hits. And now we've already taken two. And one was a body shot, which is or three now. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Next, next form. Uh, this is not going good at all. Oh. Cleaned our clock. All right. One, two Mega Man left. Okay. Well, that's good because we got the free man from Rush. I much rather have the E tank, but it is what it is. Rush only gives what he thinks we need. I know, Ryan. It, it, you know, it happens. It happens. Especially with these older games like this. They're they're designed to make it to where you can't just simply beat them in a, a leisurely day sometimes. And that's, you know, that's fine. That's, that's just the way the design was back then. It's just part of gaming history. It's one of the reasons why we do the retro stuff we do. Because gaming history is important. Alright. Second form. Body hit. There's not much we can do about it either. Uh, that's why we really wish Rush would have given us some e tank, but oh well. Uh, and we get blown up again. It happens. All right, guys. This is why you shouldn't let your evil mad scientists take over the world because little blue dudes like this just die. But we're gonna get there. Fortunately, Mega Man's like made in a fabricator or something because they keep just pushing them in. Oh, he started with a jump that time instead of a shot. Okay. That's a problem. We weren't expecting that. It's like he kicked us in a boxing match. We weren't expecting him to kick us. Or in Soul Calibur. That's, that's one of the dreaded super secret moves in Soul Calibur. It's a weapons fighting game. You never expect your opponent to kick you instead of stab you or hit you with a mace or an axe. Or block. I mean, parry maybe, but block. Blocking's just outright rude. Alright, here we go. Okay. And he smashes on me because he likes to smash on me. Makes to smash on me that way too. Man, he just likes to be smashing. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, the wind shot works, but doesn't do any good damage. Still with the spear. Blizzard attack. Ah! Yuck. Okay, um. Maybe the plant. Will the plant block the shots? Oh, wow, that's way too close for comfort. Doesn't matter if the plant blocks the shots or not. <laughs> if we get hit by the boss, it just doesn't matter. Oh, we jumped right into it! Or attack with a giant coffee grinder. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely into good D. He's uh he's trying to turn us into blue espresso. And he's he's doing a good job of it so far. I wonder if I can kill him with the actual pal suit. I, I he does more damage when he's in the suit. Broke my rotation, that's not good. And now my jumps are going too short. Alright, back to the old way. Like about here. He 
Yeah, we gotta go actually to the old way. That didn't take too long though, okay. Alright, here it comes. Rush! Really rush, really. Okay. Um. Hmm. The last weapon gave some hits. Yeah, the the night weapon gave some hits. I think we want to save that to the to the next. Yeah, the night weapon gives it, it hits pretty good, pretty good. And it also doesn't require me to be right there, right up on him uh, for the most part. Ha! We thought he was gonna jump like that. because you've done it like every other time since we said, oh, we weren't expecting him to jump like that. Ah. Hmm. Alright, let's go over to the Night Crusher. Ah, and he, of course, what to do? Ah, we just jumped right into it, because why not? Alright, so we got, we got a little bit left. We know he does these weird tracking shots. Ah. All right. Well, at least we got the second guy down again. All right. So, good news is the good news, right? bad news is we're down to like that so maybe we'll try tomahawk and see how well it works maybe we can maybe beat the guy before he you know gets us down low enough where it matters oh wow tomahawk weapon works really good but unfortunately i was an idiot maybe you'll still work good on this moment. Um, yeah, that's working really good. Wow, guys. Wow. No self-respecting mad scientist makes his doomsday weapon weak to the same weapon in all its forms. Oh! Ah! Okay. Lots of good news. We know what weapon really hurts him. Hey, Michael! Good to see you, man. Silver Tomahawk is just about empty, though. Ugh. Maybe Yamato Spear will do decent? We don't have to come back up against them. Um, the tomahawk is definitely the way to go. So that's that's a plus. That's a huge plus. Uh, nope. The spear does not work really good against them. I'm pretty sure we already tried the windstorm. Yeah, we're just going to wind up dying at this point. So we just might as well die. All right, we got a plan, though. So close. I know, Indigo. And now that we know which weapon we really need to hit them with, I th think we're going to be really good. I mean, that Tomahawk weapon, oh my gosh, that's that's the damage we're looking for. That's the damage output we've been looking for. Um, so that's, that's so good for us. All right.
Shot, shot. Lots of shots. Shot, shot. Lots of shots. Yeah, it's just the pattern we have to have with this guy. That's been the most effective. Alright. Come on, give us a neat tank. Give us a neat tank, you wonderful randomizer, you. Yeah, there we go, guys. This is what we're wanting to see. Game taking pity on us. Here you go. Here's some. Here's a, the equivalent of a, a video game potion right before the boss battle. Figured out what weapon really just tanks this guy. Um, I think we got this. I think we really got this. Bam! Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we got like all of our all of our hit points left. We missed a shot, but that's okay. Oh, we jumped right into the boss. That's bad. We missed another shot. That's not too bad. We're still doing all right. Oh, maybe not. But we do have the E-Tank, which will fill up our life. And we're presuming this is the last form, so... Wily typically has about three forms, so we're, we're... We're thinking we're okay in the presumption. He could be free, though. Oh, there he goes, knocked out of his weapon. And now he begs for his life. Bam! Oh, an achievement unlocked! That's cool. That's cool. Dr. Wily. Uh, guess that's the alien language. Hey, Robux Crafter. Hey, Tiger. Goodbye, Tiger. I, I'm, yep, sentenced to prison for his crimes. Dr. Wily now rolls over a prison cell. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Really appreciate the GG on that. Everybody appreciate the GGs. That's and now, of course, one thing we always do on Convertible Turtle Gaming, guys, is when we beat a game, we let the credits play because we believe that the developers for the program that we just had fun playing deserve their their rights as well. Hey, Shadow! Thanks for lurking today, buddy. Really appreciate that. Big help. Really big help with that that troll earlier today. I feel like the Crystal Flash weapon, I should have been able to utilize it better. I just didn't know really what I was doing for it. Oh yeah, guys. And the, the character design in this game is always just really good. And they're basically showing you what the, the enemies patterns are at this point, which was, you know, would have been helpful a while back. Um, and what's really cool, too, if you guys see, there's a designer for every single character. And they have design code names, too, which is kind of cool. They've been making these characters for so long. I bet they still have character files that they even have used. Just that the Mega Man series kind of just dropped a bit, you know. DWNB44, I mean, wow, worked on the, the gumball machine. Um, it might have shadow, that's, that's a valid statement. Uh, huh. Little me tool machines. Uh, design something, something, something 45. I, I'm guessing that's what DWNB stands for. Tomahawk Man. He was, uh, he was rough. Tomahawk Man was one of the, the roughest bosses I think we fought. We, we, we faced off against him in this stream series, this mini series, like seven or eight times, at least, at least, before we beat him the first time, and this, the second time it was just difficult too. 
The air dude was kind of cool. The little air jets he made. Um. And the music's just infectious, guys. It gets in your head, and you really can't do much about it. Yamada Man. Design number 48, I'm sure. Because, I mean, 6 times 8, right? That's 48, guys. Mega Man 6. And... He's the last dude? Yep, and now we get regular credits. So, guys, this has been Mega Man 6. Um, we've, you know, been playing retro game today, and that's the game that we chose, because it's what we had last week as well. Got to see it to completion. We always try to 100% games. I'm 99.9% .9 certain that we've 100%ed this one. I don't know what the uh, the blues pieces actually led to. And um, Planner Turkey 613. I mean, that's just a weird name. Um, but, you know, code names. Hey, opponents! Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Alrighty. Hyper Benji. And all Capcom staff. I mean, some of these names are just interesting. Like Duke. You know, that's... Single name. No last name. Enjoyed watching me again? Well, thanks, Ryan. Really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. To be continued. Absolutely to be continued. Mega Man 6 leads off into other games. Like 7, 8, 9, and the uh, 10 coming out. And then Mega Man X, that series is a spin-off much, much later in the future when Mega Man's been scrapped and the world's been taken over by evil stuff. Alright. And that's it. And guys, 1993. I mean, this is... This is a heck of a game. So I don't think at this point there's anything else we can do for it, guys. So we can go ahead and quit this one. All right, so, museum, huh. Oh, this is just the Mega Man museum for this game. Oh, that's pretty cool, guys. All the actual artwork they had and their names. So, Cyber Gabriel, interesting. If we select it, it's just the artwork. And I wonder if we actually unlock stuff in the museum or if it's just there to start with. Heroes art, Heroes art number two, nifty. And again, guys, this is the Mega Man collection number one, Mecha Zorit, Mecha Zorus. Interesting. Metal Potten. So it's not a gumball machine like we've been calling it. I'll still call it a gumball machine because why not? Mr. X, which totally doesn't look like Dr. Wily at all. I, I would love to see them do a Mega Man game with all these as the characters. You know, do sprite work like this. Power Piston. That was a hard boss. Rush Transforming. Neat. Silver Tomahawk, which is totally a, a brown costume. Spring Face Bomb. SUR21 slash P. Intriguing. Tank CS2, yeah, Tetabeo, okay. Tomahawk Man. Oh, interesting, just random weapons. Wily's boss machine, which we just destroyed. Oh, that's, wow, so like the, the artwork requirements for, char for the characters. Oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely, guys. And Flame Man stage, Mr. X's Castle Wallet. Okay, that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. And it's just an artwork viewer. All right. So I guess what we do now is we, since we are curious about that, let's go to the museum. Does it actually, yeah, it's not an unlocked thing. I was hoping that was. All right, well, guys, um, we still got 45 minutes on the stream timer. Um, Dig Rat tonight? I'm pretty certain Dig Rat's streaming tonight. Yeah, she says she reckons she's streaming tonight. So at 7 p.m. tonight, Digret will be streaming. Uh, so since we've been kind of on this retro Mega Man kick, we just load up the Mega Man 5. 
and uh, start on it for the next 45 minutes and see what kind of disaster we can get into here. Uh-oh. Blues? Oh, I'm glad you're excited, opponents. A vicious army of robots is bent on destroying the world. And behind this destruction is... Proto Man. Hey, Zachary McDermott. Welcome to the channel again, man. In the Japanese version, he's actually called Blues. There's actually a rock, roll, and blues, which are the three robots that Dr. Light created. Hmm. Alright, so this is different people. Hmm. Well, I guess we just make a, a choice based upon who seems like we might be able Alright, see you, Ryan. Thanks for staying around, dude. Uh, let's go to Wave Man. He seems mostly harmless. I mean, they're obviously all harmful because they're Robot Masters Destruction. Hey, T-Mac Music! Glad to see you in chat, man. Uh, this is Mega Man 5. Uh, we're actually changing that out now. And we'll actually be able to tag them both. Oh no, man, at first. Oh, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. Uh, it could be Oh No Man, though. Um, okay, so we got the Buster, we got the Charge Shot. Charge Shot definitely does it differently. Uh, we got Slides, okay. Oh wow, we're getting wrecked by Steam Vents, too. Wow. It's good to know. Oh, wow. So that's nifty also. Um, we chose way poorly. I would have rather had the, the one up. Oh, well. Can these things be destroyed? No, no, they cannot be destroyed. That's good to know. And they absolutely are like mechanical roll on the ground. Eat crackers like they own the stage kind of thing. All right, so... Spikes? Oh! This doesn't look like it's going to cause us to be killed at all. Okay. So it probably will. So we gotta we gotta jump from the soap bubble to the other bubble to the other bubble. All right. That's 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 neat. Remind you of how far fast game graphics technology absolutely T Mac. That's one of the things that we like to do on this channel is is remember what the past was like. The dark ages of video gaming, if you will. We're not gonna go so far back as to play Atari yet. But uh you know, we don't have our Atari, so we can't really do that. But we'll definitely lay down some Mega Man 8, you know, 8 bits to Oh wow well now. This is not making me think about battle toads at all. Be a neat way to have to fight a boss, right? I bet we don't get to fight the boss this way, though. Oh, dolphins! And guys with guns on the bike still. That was neat! That was a neat little interlude. Oh, we get to fight a sub boss this way, though. That's kind of, kind of cool. Oh, and Trad PC. Oh, wow. My, my first computer was a TRS-80, so that should let you know how bad it was for me for a while. But, uh, when I played... I, I played Donkey Kong on it, and it was ASCII art. Everything was ASCII art. So it was like, you know, the, the, everything was just letters and numbers and little pipey things and black and white and green occasionally. Occasionally green. I had a two-color monitor. One of those fancy ones at the time. I'm about to die to, to a dolphin. Ah, dolphins are rougher than it. Oh, well, we got a free man, though, so that's good. One up. Boom. Blowing up. We'll probably start after the sub-boss. Nope, that was way too much to ask. All 
Alright, let's hop on the bike. You remember when the screens were big and bulky? Oh yeah, I remember that. I, I, I sadly remember that because up until about three years ago, I still had big and bulky. Or, nah, it's been a bit longer than that. About four years or five years ago, the screens were all big and bulky. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely be okay with one up again. Wow. All right, dolphins. Ah, we're actually getting hit a lot more before the sub boss than we were last time. All right. This looks like an Octorok. I mean, you can't fight this thing and not draw that comparison, in my opinion. Apparently you have to wait for it to shoot, otherwise it'll actually just hit you right in the middle of the air. That's great. Alright, so that's not the way to cheese this section. Alright, so we go over here, we wait for the guy to show up behind us. And we get shot in the telepipe. Alright. That's not good. Alright. Nightbot triggered a small like spike. Plus two likes? Way cool. Way cool. Nightbot's doing what Nightbot's supposed to do. Letting people remember. Sometimes people, you know, if they like the content, they forget to like the, the content. I mean, that's that's the way it works sometimes. It's, it's weird. But I've, I've sat down and watched people on YouTube before. And like an hour into the stream, be like, oh, I forgot to drop the like. I'm, and I'm a YouTuber, you know, that's, that's, it's kind of like really bad form in my opinion. I'm like, I always feel bad about it. Sometimes I tell the streamer that I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Depending upon who it is. Sometimes I don't. Because I just like it and be like, I, I can't just interrupt the flow, you know, because some people, they, they need their concentration a lot, like I do. Oh, I was doing so good. Alright. So the part of the level that we've not been able to beat yet. Because the dolphins and the guys on the bikes team up to kill me, basically. The dolphins get me coming, and the bike guys get me going. Ah. I'm hoping that, like, in the middle of the road bike dude means that we got, like, halfway through the level. So now I'm just basically spraying praying at this point, hoping I get... Oh! Oh! oh that was a beat part. That's not good. Or maybe it spells Mega Man. I forget about Mega Man 5 if it did beat or, or Mega Man. I think it did Mega Man. Oh, these things. Shooting the giant sized tennis balls. Oh, we have two lives left. Oh, what? Okay, so it spells Mega Man 5. So we're going to have to go back to this level at some point. We actually get a, a rush part to start with. I'm actually all for that. That, that. that makes you feel a little bit better about the game. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get hit by this guy once and then die. Because that's exactly what happens. Okay, so he puts a wall up, he shoots a harpoon. That's not a bad pattern to figure out. Oh, but he jumps. Like, as he shoots the, as he, as he shoots the harpoon, he jumps, okay. It's a little bit more tricky than I thought. Not too much. We don't have any tank. Okay. Alright, looks like we guessed correctly. I mean, usually we do really abysmal at this with the games that we have hardly ever, ever played at all.
So let's see what we get here. I'm guessing water wave. Okay. And what's it look like? Because we always get to see what it shoots like, right? Nope. Not in this game, apparently. So we gotta get the Mega Man piece. I mean... So we gotta go back to the level again. That's kind of unfortunate, but it's just the way this game works. When you got secret pieces like that, you have to get them. So let's use the rush coil. Or not. Okay. I was thinking the coil is what we wanted to do, but I guess not. And, uh, looks like these bubbles have a predictable pattern. Though I am kind of curious how these bubbles get past the spike pit above their head down there, so... Not sure how that works. So we have to, all we have to do is get on the card of death that killed us over and over again. And remember that we have to do some really cool jumping for the E at the end. Oh, that was a nice little pick me up in the middle of the stage. I like how the stage progresses, because it's like, alright, here's these guys on bikes, and now here's these dolphins. It starts off with these little bitty penguins on, uh, pucks, I guess. They're like curling puck penguins on water instead of ice. And we, again, we're doing really good with the this boss until we forgot to, like, not jump until we needed to. Alright! And that's, again, going back to what we've talked about in the past about these games. These uh, older games like this, they're mostly about pattern recognition. Once you get the patterns figured out, you can absolutely do a lot better than what you've been doing. Case in point, I haven't gotten hit by a dolphin yet. Getting awfully close to it, though. The guy on the, the bike behind me, though, he definitely tried to ruin my day. helps that we're currently... Oh, there we go. We got the E that time. Awesome. Awesome. We're not, like, fighting for our life and trying to keep our health all the way to the boss. Because when we get past this stage, we don't have a boss to fight. So that changes things. When you, when you actually beat the boss on these Mega Man stages, the boss goes away. Because he's no longer there. I mean, you blew him up. Scrapped him. Took his powers away. Alright. Boom. Slide to the door. Boom! Teleport out, and now we've got an E. So we've got a water weapon. That's a, we're guessing, a, a shield wall type thing. Normally we'd go up against somebody like Napalm Man with a water weapon. Uh, I don't think it's going to work out too well, but we'll find out. Dude definitely looks like he's uh, a nuclear warhead of some sort, so... And he's in the jungle. Okay. Oh, Tigers from, like, Woodman Sage. Thanks for the GG, T-Mac. Tigers are actually pretty bad. Um, they, they've, they've wrecked us at this point. Wow. We got a little bit of health back. We're okay. Whoa! These are... That's totally a throwback to Mega Man 2. Okay.
Slow and steady wins the race sometimes, guys. I've, I've learned in these kind of games, you, sometimes you just don't take a, a total breakneck run toward whatever you think like you're going to be doing, any kind of killing on. And, uh, you survive that way. Ah, we kind of knew how that was going to go. We were hoping it wasn't going to go that way. Oh, really? This is going to be good if I can actually do it. There we go. Awesome. Alright, we got to grab this ladder. We're about to die. Oh, hey! Buddy, pal! Free man, okay. Not not as bad as certain items. Boy, we we're probably gonna need that E-tank soon. Hopefully that's the checkpoint. Yes it is! So GG on that. We made it to the checkpoint. Oh, because the last thing you just fought like this wasn't hard enough, let's go ahead and add spikes to it. There's the N. Wow! So we got the first E in the N. All we gotta do now is actually beat the stage. Kind of like Will of Fortune when you get the $10 million jackpot prize, you still gotta win. Decided to come back and say hello again. Oh, well, cool, Ryan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, they, they, they black explode. That's that's definitely different. Oh, a basketball player. Oh, oh, that was pleasant. I guess we do this and get knocked right in the hole. Wow. Oh, learning new things about new places. Like Napalm Man stage. Definitely got the right kind of motif going though. I mean, we got this guy throwing out bombs. So you know he's definitely an underling for a guy that's called Napalm Man. Don't have to be tricky on that at the moment, so that's good. So, I'm trying to re remember what killed me last time, but uh, I now remember it's, it's the dudes that were shooting out of the, out of the skull, or not out of the skull, but out of the, the holes. Um, so these aren't as difficult to get past as I thought they were. I was... Oh, that's sneaky sneaky. All right, so we're, we're presuming the water weapon, which we've not used. Oh, okay. That's not a, a shield weapon, so I feel a little bit better about that. Oh, 
Okay, so... Good news, bad news time. Apparently, Napalm is like an afterthought and not like, hey, I'm a fire-based weapon. Um, okay. It's more like I'm shooting bombs and throwing grenades. Well, if that's the case, we're going to go on the dodgeball plan of dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge, and hope we get there. So the grenades actually block our shot, the explosion does. That's not good. And we're not doing anything that we talked about, guys. Not dodging, not dipping, not ducking, not diving, not dodging. Hmm. Alright. So is that game over? No, not game over. So we got an opportunity to try it once more. And let's try this. What's more with feeling, I guess, because we don't have any other weapons. That grenade's being really bad against us. bad as they have been. Oh, we're about to get hit by them, so we're going to use the E-Tank. Pull up our life. This thing is not doing that shot that we were afraid of last time, the, the triple shot. Just these grenades, which makes them really easy to dodge. I think his attack pattern got stuck. We're okay with that. We took the shot because we had it. And we're making some pretty good time on this game. I mean, we've only been playing for about 20 minutes, and we've already beat two guys. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Hey, Drew, how's it going, buddy? We got Napalm Bomb. And I bet that works like just a grenade. Okay, so... Bomb should be rocks? I guess, if not, water might be rocks? Doing good, Drew. Doing good. Playing some, some classic retro stuff. Alright, and... Oh, that's new. Like little stacking dolls. Has Matt been here recently? Uh, Matt hasn't been on the streams recently, but he's in the Discord usually. Unfortunately, uh, Daylight Savings Time plus Matt being in his final year university kind of really drained his time out a bit. Uh, I'll just let that go. Definitely lots of interesting uh, decisions on how to fight these things. I just should just call that a draw, I guess. Uh, wow. Let's 
So those guys aren't throwing big old rubber balls this time. Those guys are throwing rocks. Interesting way to kind of change it up a little bit. But, hmm, does changing the sprite really make a different guy? Oh, well, I guess it does because these aren't blowing up. Uh, I hope we're getting to a checkpoint because we're about to die. Actually, we have zero men and we're about to die. Game over to the continue screen. And we're okay with that. We're okay with that. Back to Stone Man. We should hit continue, but it is what it is. Yep, absolutely, Drew. Rip. Rest in pieces, Mega Man. You will be recycled into Mega Man again. I uh, honestly think this game so far um, is not as difficult as Mega Man 4, or I mean, not 4, but 6. One would think that the difficulty would increase, but I guess not. Oh, okay. This guy again. Die. Oh no, it's the itty-bitty bouncing thing in death that was going to kill me. Oh, you know, I need the extra life. A point. You know how bad of a player I am. You know, it's pretty bad when the video game that was released in the, the early early 90s knows how bad of a game player you are. Ah, same, same section, same stage. Oh, we made it to the health pack that time, though. Awesome, awesome. Ah! Baby Metal's getting in my my everything. Oh neat! The the tracking is is linked. Wow, that was interesting. That was a spawn code just written really bad. So that means that the, the guy we fought last time was... I had upgraded that dude. I mean, you can't shoot him, just run away. It's a good tactic. It's served Mega Man for many years. It served me for many years. He who fights him just runs away, gets to fight until they get it right. And we know this is probably a secret path of some sort. Oh well. 
Oh, I know how to get to this, though. Ah. Uh, spin around in circles. Digrat? Yes, Drew. Digrat will be streaming tonight. She says she's reckoned she'll be back in the saddle tonight. Her and Fred tearing it up. Oh, wow. So that wasn't exactly what we expected. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, awesome. Glad you're, glad you're excited, man. Glad you're excited. I gotta shoot this down because it's gonna cause me problems. Oh. Alright, and boom! Now, Digrat guys will be playing Skyrim Sunday tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She will be further pursuing what the Thieves Guild has to offer, I think, is what she's got planned. See what that Blackbriar people have. What kind of evil... Love when a game gets help. I do too, it, it, especially when you've really, really done bad. You know you've done bad. You're like, uh, I, I've, I have no desire to go fighting a boss right now. I've just really butchered all this. Ah, good. We are definitely where the spikes are, apparently. Do 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 do. Nope. Okay. Thought we had a game over screen, but we didn't. We gotta start all over and do it again until you get a better screen, though. Alright. Oh, yeah, all that health. Gotta love it. Well, that's the shot I've been trying to do since we started fighting this little area. Finally pull it off. And pull off that shot too. Way cool. Way cool. Still don't know how we get in there, but we'll figure it out. I had a massive fail on Breath of the Wild last night. Ooh. Did you uh, wind up riding a, a pony somewhere you shouldn't rode the ponies? I could see you doing that, possibly. Oh, an E-Tank! Wow! Not only is it giving us health, but it's giving us extra health to use at our leisure. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, this time we're not going to jump in the spike pit. We found out that that wasn't good for us. I guess we could just camp this area and get all the refills we needed. Killed a guardian only to be KO'd by a Boko on a horse five seconds later. Oh, oh, jumped off the horse. You left the protection of your horse. That's... I'll do it. Of course, I'll use horses to, like, run. Alright, so Stone Man, we presume, dies to Napalm Man. So let's find out what this weapon works like. Okay, so... This weapon lo works pretty neat. I can't tell if he's like invincible when he becomes a, a pile of slag. I think he is. I think he's invincible when he's a slag pile. Alright, he's definitely hurt us a little. The Boko is waiting in the shadows. It was like that Boko in the dark during the, the DLC that I couldn't find all the time. Alright, so... Let's see if water 
does anything to this guy? Nope. That was a quick answer. So yeah, when he's a slag pile, he, he can't be hurt. But he can be hurt before he can become slag. Interesting. And yeah, bombs do break rocks up, so that's way cool. It's good to know. And we are three out of eight bosses, probably three out of 16 levels down. Um, hey, Drew, thanks for the GG, man. Really appreciate that, man. Thanks for that, T-Mac. You got Power Stone. I'm guessing that's the little shield kind of swirly thing he was doing because making Mega Man turn into slag wouldn't be done easily. And now we get into the weird stuff. I'm guessing Gyro Man is beat by Gravity Man. Who's possibly beat by Star Man. Who may be beat by Crystal Man. Who may be beat by Charge Man. So we're going to go to Charge Man. Um, trains usually, you know, get beat by rocks. Maybe. I, I don't know, guys. Alright, we got bombs coming out. Bombs at a train station, that's not something you see every day. Oh, this is kind of a cool level. We're like on the top of a train now. It reminds me of the, uh, the, the, uh, what was it? Little jet ski scene that we had in the first level we played. They just made a train noise, it's kind of funny. There, guys. I had to pause it so I could do that. Alright, let's see here. Oh! So, a chicken and some mice and some bombs. What kind of train are they running here? Oh, wow! Those are some jumping chickens. Oh, we got some hit points back. That's good. So far, the chickens aren't that bad. Um, the rats are pretty decent. Um, you have to hit them with a charge shot or a special weapon. Meanwhile, the chickens, the little baby chicks, they just are at the right height to just get shot at. Wait a second. We missed the, the letter in the rock stage. I don't know where it is. I don't remember seeing it. So we gotta go back to that level at some point. But it probably won't be today, guys, because we got just under 10 minutes. Actually, a little bit less than that, even. Okay. Some spikes. That's definitely one of those things that says, this is not the direction you're supposed to go. Shame on you for thinking you should have. Alright, have a good one, Drew. We'll see you tonight for Skyrim, probably. I know you're excited to see Digrat. And Fred. And, you know, some people enjoy Lydia. I, I, I don't know many of them, but I know they, they actually enjoy Lydia. Alright, here's the boss. We can kill this thing without dying. We'll have two shots at it. Yay, Mag in the morning with your coffee. Hey, Hype! Guys, say hi to Hype. He is one of those YouTube gamers like myself. He's not on the family-friendly side of things, but he does actually see some really good content. I think he's been doing uh, some PUBG and uh, lots of ARC. I mean, if you enjoy my ARC stuff, absolutely take a, take a spin on his stuff. Um, man, I really don't want to waste this on him. Oh, that's, that's brutal. 
but yeah, absolutely, guys. If you don't mind some, uh, you know, a couple of four-letter words, absolutely take a look at hype. Uh, let's see here. So now we can try the, the stone on this guy. We got a full full tank of, of life, so I, I feel better about this weapon. Okay. Um, it definitely does hit him. That's good. Not when he goes all angry, though. Okay. Oh. So I think we got the right weapon. We just gotta play better. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely the right weapon. It's really taking chunks off his hit points. Alrighty, alrighty. Um. I'm on our tradition of how to kill the boss, don't die, and just keep hitting him more than he hits you. Yeah, that's that's the strategy for a lot of bosses in most games, but it's not easier said than, uh, not as easy as it looks sometimes. Alright guys. Sweet! Got charge kick. Interesting. All right. Well, guys, we're going to thanks for the GGs. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to save. We're going to make sure we save the game. Close out of there and go to quit. Again, guys, this haven't played this in years. I know hype. I know it's on Xbox One uh, streams. Uh, the game service they have. Uh, which is really cool. Like 10 bucks a month, you get access to a whole plethora of games, like 200 games or something. And so the, the Mega Man collection is actually uh, what this is out of. And it's like Mega Man 1 through 6. We, we actually just finished 6 this morning, and we went, we went down to 5. But guys, that's going to be all it for me today. I, I know we can't get through another level in the next, like, 3 minutes. I, you guys might be able to, but I definitely couldn't. Um, so we're actually going to call it here. Um, T-Mac, Drew, awesome of you guys being sponsors and, and being here as a Shadow, who's one of our mods as well. Uh, shout out to you guys for coming here and making things work the way they work. Um, you know, and everybody else who's here today, you know, definitely, like I said, guys, check out Hype. Um, check out Chadley as well. He was in earlier in the stream. He may still be lurking around here. Uh, thanks for our supporters, of course. You know, opponents, Sally. Um, great stream, absolutely, T-Mac. We will be keeping it up for as long as we can play video games until our thumbs can fall off. Uh, but yeah, guys, absolutely. Um, have a good morning, a good evening, good night, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Guys, whatever happens, this is Mag Synchro saying have a good one, and we'll see you later.